I pretty much know that any physical manifestation of abundance is directly correlated with my inner abundance and paradigm. How do I work on seeing the physical how do I work on seeing the physical abundance I feel? So when you feel something, start to make. Right? Like how do you get out of your um, out of your heart or out of your soul or wherever you would say that it, you know that that feeling lives and then out into actually creation mode? And a lot of times it doesn't make sense. Like a lot of times what your heart would tell you to make, it's like, but that doesn't make any sense. There's no practical reason for me to do that. That's what, that's what you need to ignore. So when you're feeling that abundance, pay attention to what your body then is telling you to do. Maybe your body is telling you to, or your soul or your heart, or again, whatever word kind of feels best for you. Is it telling you to record a song? Is it telling you to um, call a friend? Is it telling you to reach out to somebody? Is it telling you to message a reporter? Like, what is it telling you to do? It's giving you instructions, but then what happens is the brain tells you why you can't do it. So I have, and it's still an ongoing process, but I really try to honor those flows when they come and do the thing even that makes no sense. So example, there was a, there was a guy yesterday who I messaged who I haven't, I haven't talked to this guy in a couple of years. Um, we were never really close. I mean, we were, we were colleagues, I guess. I mean, entrepreneurs, we did some business together. Um, I woke up, I was thinking about him for some reason. I don't know, maybe I had a dream about him. I, I couldn't I couldn't consciously tell you why I was thinking about this guy that I haven't spoken to in a couple of years, right? So then I sent him an email. I've, I've, if I mentally thought about it, like, well, this doesn't make any sense. Why would I, what am I even gonna say? Why would I message him? Why am I thinking about him? Like, if you try to dissect it, the flow doesn't make sense many times because you're, you're operating at a different, it's a different consciousness than, a, than um, one you can logically think through. So we try to understand that consciousness with our brain, which then doesn't make sense, which is then why we stop ourselves from doing the thing we should be doing. So instead, you listen to that instruction and go do the thing, even if it doesn't make sense. Because you trust that the intuition is good and that the intent is positive. So that's, that's the next step. You feel the abundance. Amazing. That's great. That's already ahead of most people. Now that you feel the abundance, what is your heart, your soul, your body, you know, your chakra, your third eye, whatever, whatever, again, word makes sense. What is it calling you to do? And then trust that intuition and go take some action on it. And you do that, you'll lead to some amazing places.